What's up? This is SM127. I'm going to show you how to bypass the 3.69 update on the PS Vita. Because, like, <clears throat> because, like, for some people that that turned off software updates on the PS Vita, but went to the software update, and it said a new software update is available, version 3.69 is still there. Well, there's a way to get rid of that. And to basically trick it into like, into like thinking that it's up to date at 3.68. Cause the point of this is for people that want H Encore like me, cause that's why like, as you can see, that's why I keep all the other applications like MGBA, Custom Themes Manager to try new themes, SNES 9X Vita, Shellbat, where I keep the battery percentage battery indicator so while the PS Vita is charging it's gonna be like a little waiting screen <clears throat> and etc and even more etc so the way so let's go to settings the way you're gonna to want to do this is through the settings application in network So you'll go to Wi-Fi settings, and then you'll go to tap your internet connection, and then inter and then advanced settings. And then when you're in advanced settings, what you're going to do is that you're going to be looking for DNS settings. You need to set this to manual. And I already have this entered, so you're gonna want so you're gonna want to enter this. This is two one two dot four seven dot dot two two nine dot seven six. And this is the primary DNS that you want. Make sure that the secondary DNS is blank. Don't use that. It's gonna take a moment to connect. Now this way, you can you can basically keep your hack, and now I can't update because because that primary DNS is there. I'm gonna restart it to show you. Okay, let's just turn off. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so, just wait for that. And we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna see that when we tap system update, update using Wi-Fi. And you're gonna see that we cannot update to 3.69 because of that DNS that we entered. And 3.69 is the latest software. And this is especially really good if you're if you're on like a software version that's under 3.68, like if you're on 3.61 or 3.63, that's not 3.65, 3.67, or 3.68, and you don't want to update past 3.68, this is helpful. So thank you so much for watching this and keep liking, commenting, and subscribing.